All right, so we downloaded Python 3.5 on our computer. Now, it, I showed you at the end of that tutorial how to access or figure out how to access your latest version of 3.5.2. Um, it's important to remember how to access that. So if you access 3.5.2 using Python, just like this, then um, you're going to use that throughout the tutorials to do a lot of things like uh, in the future. Um, if you use Python three like this, then that's what you're going to use. Now, with that being said, if you access your Python 3.2, 3.5.2 version, when we install packages, you're going to use pip. If you use just Python, all right. If you use Python three, then you're going to use pip three, just like that. Okay. In my case, I use Python three, so I'm going to do pip three install virtual env. Now, virtual env is our virtual our virtual environment, which can will allow us to separate our um, packages that we use for our Django project. Even if you're building a program on your computer that has nothing to do with Django, you probably should be using virtual env. Because if Python changes, say it comes out 3.6 and has all these major changes, which I don't suspect them to do, um, but if they did, then your project probably wouldn't work. So you should always be using some kind of virtual environment. All right. So in this case, you can think of it as when we have our virtual environment activated, it's going to go ahead and put everything in a box. Everything outside that box cannot touch uh, the code on the inside. Now, when we activate it, then we go inside the box and we can use that code. Nothing changes. Now, if we didn't use a virtual environment, if we built a project in... Python 3.5 and then we download it Python 3.5.2 today it's going to overwrite that um, uh, previous version of Python that our whole computer has access to and our project might not run properly. Same thing with Django um, we're going to use 1.10.2 I believe we're at now in this project um, if you were using on another project if you use 1.8 um, and you download it to Django without or Django without using a virtual environment and you download the latest version you're probably going to overwrite the version that's on your computer and your previous version your previous project's not going to work properly because there has been changes in Django that could affect um, how your project operates so that's important to use a virtual environment now back to what we're doing if you did pip3 install virtual environment you should have seen it download installed I already have it satisfied on my computer so that means all right, have it. So you should have seen a couple more lines here installing it. All right. So with that being said, we got it. Pip. We got installed virtual EMV. So let's go ahead and create a virtual environment. Before we do that, I would like to make a directory on my desktop to hold all my Django uh, projects from this point on. So we're kind of organized. So let's go ahead and do that first. Where are we currently? Well, you can do ls to figure out where you're at right now. And you can see desktops right here. So I'm probably in my user folder, which I am. So I'm going to do cd desktop. All right, so I'm going to change into my desktop. And then I'm going to do ls. And I have one directory in here, Django blog tutorial videos, where I contain these videos that we're working on currently. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and make a new directory to hold our Django project. So we can do m k d i r django all right so i'm making a directory that holds django all our django projects you could simply go over here go out into your desktop and right click on it if you want to do it that way but i find it easier to do this so i hit return and that makes a new um directory on my desktop all right so if i list out now now I got two. I got Django and then I got Django blog tutorial videos. Cool. All right. So we made that. Now we want to change into our Django folder. So we'll do CD Django. Oops. Django. And we got that open now. Now we're in that file. We'll list out what's in there. There's nothing in there. I'm going to clear my screen to bring it back up. If you don't know how to clear your screen to bring it back to the top, it's Command K. And now we want to go ahead and create our virtual environment. So um, our virtual environment is going to be called, uh, what are we going to call it? 
Um, I'm gonna call it blog. All right, let's call it blog. So let's go ahead and do uh, virtual env blog. All right. So this is gonna create our virtual environment called blog. Hit return, and it's gonna go ahead and add Python 3.5 in there. You see it's right there. So it gives us the latest version of Python. So it's installing all these packages that we require to run Python. So we'll go ahead and let it install there. And it's done installing. So now if we list out what's in there, we get blog. So let's go ahead and change into blog, CD blog. All right. Now we're in our virtual environment, but it's not activated. We're just in the directory that contains our virtual environment. So if we hit LS again, we see there's uh, bin, lib, include, pip self-check JSON. This is just checking the pip version. This uh, includes um, some Python files that we need to operate this. Uh, lib includes the actual Python 3.5 and bin is used to control our virtual environment. So let's go ahead and start our virtual environment or activate our, our virtual environment by doing source bin activate all right so we're going to go ahead and activate it and now you see blog pops up over here because the name of our virtual environment is blog all right so we got now we're in the virtual environment so anything that we do is going to be contained in this virtual environment um, so if we install new packages or anything like that it's all going to be contained in this virtual environment anything on the outside of this virtual environment will not be touched that is cool all right and if you're just wondering how you get out of the virtual environment you simply just type deactivate boom all right we're out of virtual environment now if we install python packages or django packages we're going to actually install them where a whole computer can access them so there you go this virtual environment you got set up on your computers any questions let me know on youtube and uh i'll be able to help you i'll see you then